Well, thanks to everyone for joining us for the Idaho SAT School Day Test Coordinator Overview today. We're excited to be entering another year of delivering the SAT in Idaho in partnership with the Idaho State Department of Education. I'm Eddie Pulaski, Director of Outreach and Implementation and one of the College Board Idaho field team members. Joining me on the webinar today is Melanie Jones from the Idaho State Department of Education and Cassell Lisak from the College Board. We have a lot of information to share on this webinar and we look forward to the collaborative effort for the Spring 2019 SAT School Day Administration. Please note that we will provide a copy of this presentation to Idaho educators when we finish. Today's agenda includes a high-level overview of the SAT School Day Administration, including key dates, changes planned for the 2018-2019 school year, steps to prepare for the administration, and additional information about College Board systems that will be utilized for setup and delivery. The Idaho State Department of Education is providing the SAT for eligible grade 11 students to assist with meeting the state's college entrance exam graduation requirement. The primary test date is going to be April the 9th, 2019. The accommodated testing window for students who will test over two days will be April 9th through April 22nd, 2019. And the makeup test date will be April 23rd, 2019. Students who miss the primary test date will take the test on the April 23rd makeup date. All students will be registered for the SAT with no essay. Students have the option to take the SAT with essay as a state paid choice, but adding the essay is an individual student choice. We'll discuss the mechanism for adding the essay in later slides and also on a December 4th essay optional webinar. The next two slides contain key date information for areas such as the off-site request deadline, AI code confirmation, the accommodation request deadline, the bulk registration window, the SA opt-in window, and material delivery and shipment dates. You received a copy of the key dates document in the invitation for this webinar, but we'll pause here for a second so that you can uh, take a look. This slide contains information about the primary test date, the accommodated testing window, and the makeup test date, uh, along with when materials will be returned and the score release uh, approximate dates. So what's new for 2019? First, staff titles for the SAT school day have changed and better align with other College Board programs. Testing staff is now referred to as either test coordinators, proctors, hall monitors, or room monitors. The form names have changed as well. The supervisor irregularity report is now called simply the irregularity report, and the supervisor report form, or SRF, is now called the coordinator report form, or CRF. New for spring 2019 is the optional essay. All students will be registered for the SAT with no essay. Students have the option to take the SAT with essay as a state paid choice, but adding the essay is an individual student choice. Students who wish to take the SAT with essay must add it to their registration either online or by calling between January the 28th and February 4th, 2019. Additional information about this step-by-step -step process for students to add the essay and a step-by-step -step process for how test coordinators can monitor this process will be communicated to test coordinators via email and also via a live webinar on December 4th. A copy of that presentation will be available for your reference after the December 4th webinar. Schools may have a mix of students testing with and without essay. Schools will receive one SAT answer sheet for administering either the SAT or the SAT with essay. Before the test begins, students will be instructed to fill in which test they're taking 
and only those taking the, the SAT with essay will write an essay in the space provided in the answer sheet. We recommend providing separate rooms for students testing with and without the SAT, or without the SAT essay. However, you may test students in the same room if necessary due to room or staffing constraints. We ask you to refer to the manual for more information. Schools will receive two test books for students taking the SAT with SAT. Uh, with SA. The multiple choice book is now called the SAT test book, and the essay test book will be packaged separately. As an update about pre-ID labels, schools will receive pre-ID labels for each student submitted in the bulk registration files. These labels will be affixed to the student answer sheets. It's recommended that schools conduct a pre-administration session prior to test date. The session allows students to complete demographic information, complete free score sims, participate in student search, and also the optional questionnaire. We ask you to allow 45 to 60 minutes for students to complete the full optional questionnaire, or you should allow less than 30 minutes for students completing only a portion of the optional questionnaire. If students opted into student search services or completed the optional questionnaire during the PSAT NMSQT testing earlier this fall, they won't need to complete again unless they wish to change their information. While we recommend that students bubble in all demographic information, students with a label will be required to bubble in only their name, date of birth, and state student ID or EDU ID number for data verification purposes. Students without a label will complete all demographic information on the answer sheet. Also new for 2019, translated test directions will be available in the languages on the screen. College Board will also support on-the-fly translations of directions by district-approved translators. Use of translated test directions does not require an advanced request. Translations will be available in February 2019 to print, but materials will not be shipped. Additional word-to-word -word glossaries have also been approved. A full list of the glossaries will be available on the SDE website. Use of glossaries from the approved College Board list does not require an advanced request. PL students may use the 50% extended time support for the SAT. It's offered as an option for EL students who receive extended time as an instructional support. Scores will be scholarship and college reportable. Advanced request is required through the SSD online system. And more information will be provided in the December 12th accommodations webinar for SSD coordinators. An invitation for that December 12th accommodation webinar was recently sent to all Idaho SSD coordinators. So let's take a quick look at staff roles and responsibilities. To better align roles across College Board assessments, role titles have been updated for 2019. However, the responsibilities have not changed. Note the new role titles for Test Coordinator, SSD Coordinator, Proctor, Hall, and Room Monitor in the chart with the role description. Please remember that test day staff cannot be involved with paid coaching or paid SAT preparation. Test day staff cannot have taken the SAT within 180 days of the administration date. Test day staff should be certified employees of the school district. Any staff member, including the test coordinator, who will have access to test books before test day must not have a child or member of the household living under the same roof taking the same College Board test in the same window at any test site. In small schools, test staff may serve multiple roles. We recommend the test coordinator remain in the test room and have the additional test day staff serve as the hall monitor. In large schools, we recommend that proctors be in the testing rooms with appropriate numbers of room and hall monitors. The test coordinator can then float around the school, assisting with questions and resolving issues that may arise. The test coordinator is responsible for all aspects of the school day administration at the school and acts as the main point of contact with College Board, receiving all communications from the College Board and informing district test coordinators of their interactions. 
The SSD coordinator is the school's liaison with College Board Services for Students with Disabilities Office. They submit accommodation requests for all students who need them at his or her school. They access and print the non-standard administration report, or the NAR. Uh, they partner with the test coordinator to reconcile accommodated test materials and administer the SAT to students who are testing with accommodations. And as a quick reminder, schools may have more than one SSD coordinator, but one person should be identified as the primary SSD coordinator for their school. Room monitors and hall monitors fulfill the roles listed on this screenshot, including answering questions, helping to distribute materials, and monitor test takers report violations. That's the room monitor responsibilities. Hall monitor responsibilities include directing students to room, patrolling the halls, and reporting violations, and covering for staff on breaks. Now let's transition to College Board systems and access. A College Board professional account is required for all system access. Each user creates their own account at collegeboard.org to allow for a single sign-on to College Board tools, including SSD Online, the Bulk Registration Tool, Test Day Training, and the K-12 Reporting Portal. Access codes allow users to link their professional account to each system. Access codes are valid for one school year, are specific for each system, and are used with the first new login. They're typically provided via email and will only allow you to link your College Board account to the specific system that is identified in that email. For bulk registration, Bulk registration is required for all schools and districts to pre-identify students. College Board will use the number of students registered to determine the test materials to be shipped to schools for test day. Schools who were identified with variable enrollment will receive test materials even if bulk registration is not possible. College Board ships a small overage of test materials to account for standby test takers, typically students who are last minute transfers into the school. The district test coordinator or the test coordinator typically completes the bulk registration process. The test coordinator will receive an email with instructions and an access code, which allows your College Board account to be linked to the bulk registration system, allowing the upload of student data. An in-depth bulk registration webinar is scheduled for December 6. We encourage you to watch your emails for that invitation. For SSD Online, SSD coordinators use the SSD Online system to submit requests for accommodations and the EL 50% support on behalf of their students. College Board will determine non-standard material orders to be shipped to schools for test day. Schools can have multiple SSD coordinators, but only one should be listed as the primary coordinator who will receive communications from the College Board. To access the system using your College Board account, um, at first you should have completed the SSD coordinator form found on the collegeboard.org slash SSD site. Um, once you've done that, within a couple of days, an access code would be sent to allow access, and SSD online access remains active year to year. Again, we invite you to participate in the upcoming December 12, 2018 accommodations webinar. An invitation was sent to all SSD coordinators, or you can contact the Idaho SD support email to receive a webinar invitation. For test administration training, test coordinators will receive an email providing a link to the test day online training approximately six weeks prior to test day. Training is required for all test coordinators. To access, you'll log into the system using your College Board professional account. Uh, training can also be shared with other test day staff. And for the K-12 reporting portal, the reporting portal provides test coordinators access to student results for all SAT suite of assessment administrations, the ability to monitor student registrations for the optional essay, and the ability to monitor national test administration dates. To access, test coordinators should speak with the school principal to determine the school's designated access manager 
Each school has an access manager who will provide access to school staff, and that access manager will receive an access code and instructions prior to score release. Finally, the test ordering system. The test ordering system will not be used for the uh, Idaho SAT School Day Administration. Instead, schools and districts will bulk register their students using the bulk registration tool. We will cover more information about bulk registration later in this presentation and on the upcoming web webinar that's scheduled for December 6th. So let's do a quick high-level overview about accommodations and supports. The College Board is committed to making sure that students with disabilities can take the exams with the accommodations they need and will consider all requests to ensure that we measure students' academic abilities regardless of their disabilities. Test coordinators and SSD coordinators work together to ensure a smooth testing experience for students with testing accommodations. All requests will be entered in the College Board's SSD online system. Students with College Board approved accommodations will receive college and scholarship reportable scores. Once approved for accommodations, with limited exceptions, a student remains approved for all future College Board tests. College Board also offers for English language 50% extended time support. Eligible EL students can receive 50% extended time for college and scholarship reportable scores when requested in advance. These requests must be submitted for each state administration. Students with college approved accommodations or use of approved EL supports will receive college reportable scores. Once approved for accommodations with limited exceptions, a student remains approved for all future College Board tests. The EL support for 50% extended time, however, must be submitted for each administration. There are a few supports that don't require an advance request, such as word-to-word -word glossaries from the approved list, along with translated test directions. Supports that do require an advance request include the EL 50% extended time. Students who receive 50% extended time will receive it for each section of the test, and they'll set for the entire time allotted for each section, even if they're the only one testing. Schools can request 50% extended time for EL students beginning on January the 25th, 2019. Students will automatically be approved and no supporting documentation will be required. EL students using 50% extended time can test with other students with accommodation uh, in their testing programs with the same timing and test materials. Now let's change the conversation to the bulk registration area. Idaho schools and districts, once again, will utilize the bulk registration tool for the April administration. The district test coordinator or the SAT test coordinator will complete bulk registration for each district or school. College Board will use the number of students pre-identified in the bulk registration file to determine the standard material orders to be shipped to schools for test day. The bulk registration upload provides the required data elements for each student, including the AI code, the student name, sex or gender of the student, date of birth, the grade, student's home address, the state assigned EDU ID. Pre-ID labels will be shipped to schools to be affixed to student answer sheets upon the completion of the bulk registration. We recommend that schools and districts start early by downloading the template and by preparing student data. You should coordinate with your district test coordinator to determine who will complete the upload. In districts with more than school, it's often easier to have one person submit the data for all schools in the district. Access codes will be emailed to the SAT coordinator identified in the SDE intake survey. We invite you to participate in the December 6th bulk registration overview webinar to learn more about this process. Schools and districts will upload their bulk registration file on the bulk registration tool between January 7th and January 16th, 2019. In order to access the bulk registration template and file, you will go to the bulkregistration.collegeboard.org site and click Getting Started. Again, a more 
in-depth, step-by-step discussion about bulk registration will take place during the December 6th Bulk Registration Overview webinar. An invitation email has been sent to bulk registration coordinators and test coordinators with further details. Now let's chat for a couple of minutes about preparing for the test. As in previous years, schools are assigned a six-digit school code representing the attending institution, or AI code. AI codes are used to pre-identify students, administer College Board exams, apply for student accommodations, and receive materials and students' exam scores. Test coordinators will receive confirmation of their school's six-digit AI code in December. If you participated in the PSAT and MSQT in the fall, or SAT school day administration last spring, your AI code will remain the same. Test center numbers are no longer used, even for an approved off-site location. And speaking of off-site locations, an off-site location is any separate location in which the SAT suite of assessments will be administered other than the school premises, as may be needed if the student population is geographically distributed or if there's not sufficient space at the school setting. A testing plan will provide additional information about your off-site location in order to approve your site or sites for a specific administration. If you request an off-site for multiple locations, you should create a new tab for each off-site location. Only locations that are approved through this request process using this form will be allowed to administer the exam. The test plan form is organized into four sections, contact information, testing location information, coordinator information, and other information such as policies and guidelines. If you need assistance or if you feel like you need to uh, look at the possibility of submitting for an off-site location, please contact the Idaho SD support email and we'll um, certainly help with that process. All testing materials for off-site locations will be shipped to the primary school address associated with that AI code. The primary AI test coordinator at the school will be responsible for, for coordinating sec secure storage and transport of materials to the attention of the off-site coordinator at each off-site location. The primary school test coordinator will receive enough return materials, including boxes, labels, and envelopes, to distribute to each of the off-site locations with the test materials. As in previous years, advanced arrangements will be made for you to have a UPS pickup for the return packages before the end of the test day after test administration for each off-site testing location. Finally, Please note the multiple resources available for the Spring 2019 SAT School Day Administration. Links to the SDE website, the bulk registration tool, the SAT practice resources, and the K-12 reporting portal can be seen on this screen. If you have questions or if you need assistance, please contact the Idaho SD support email, and we will be glad to assist. So thanks for participating in this brief high-level overview. Uh, please remember that this webinar is being recorded and a copy of the presentation will be forwarded to all participants. If you have questions, please contact Melanie Jones at SDE or contact any member of your Idaho field team at the Idaho SD support email address. Or you can contact either Steve McHugh or Eddie Pulaski uh, at the College Board uh, email addresses that you often see attached to our emails. And also, please just remember the additional webinars that will be delivered over the next few weeks. Uh, on December 4th, we'll have the SA Optional Overview Webinar. On December 6th, we'll have the Bulk Registration Overview Webinar. And on December 12th, we'll have the Accommodations Overview Webinar. Uh, invitations have been sent to all of these um, individual webinars, but if you need assistance with those, please contact the Idaho SDE or the Idaho SD support uh, email, and we'll be glad to respond.